I got a problem. I got a strange addiction. Somebody help me. I need an intervention. It ain't alcohol or weed. There's just one thing that I need. I got an addiction to fruit trees. I got an addiction to fruit trees. I take a persimmon to please. Hey, the next one I'm getting. Did you be? All right, so I'm prepping a container um, for some goodies that I have coming in the mail. I am doing this because I've never shown you all um, how I actually use biochar. If you look at the last short that I did, I was showing myself uh, feeding my trees some of that super juice that I had brewing. And what the super juice con consists of is um, weeds, comfrey, there's some uh, 511 of fish emulsion in it, there's molasses in it, and rainwater. And I just let that brew. But in those buckets that I do my super juice in, I also put charcoal um, that I produced through burning this wood that I have out here that you all have seen many times before. And after it sits for a while, this is the biochar. And I'm gonna use that in this bucket. Now in this bucket at the bottom, as always, there's uh, broken branches, there's leaves, and then I put my soil on top. And the soil is, it's basically just uh, potting soil, um, I've got some peat moss and some perlite in it to keep it airy. And I'm going to be putting some of this biochar in it. I'm not going to go over like the particulars of biochar and what biochar does. I've uh, kind of touched on that before, but there's plenty of content out there that'll tell you the benefits of biochar. But I basically just sprinkle the biochar in my pot and then as i layer it with uh soil i'll put you know some more biochar not a whole lot because you don't really need a whole lot but i'll just sprinkle biochar in it and um you know it basically provides like a constant supply of nutrients to your plants i'm also going to be taking the biochar that i'm harvesting today and i'll be putting it in my pots i'll be putting it in my raised beds and I'll be making more biochar as well. But I'll be back to show you the uh, final, what this bucket finally looks like. And then later on when my goodies come in, I'll show you what it is that I'm planting in here. All right, so this is the final, this is the final product. I also top dressed it with some worm castings, fresh worm castings. Um, and if you can see, there's actually worms in there which i'm not really concerned about um and of course there's worm eggs in there and i did put some alfalfa meal in here as well now once my goodies come in i'm going to mulch it in with some wood chips and this container should be good to go all right family peace <laughs>